Good morning, Mary B. Austin Innovators faculty and staff. It starts with us this Monday morning, May 1st, 2017. This is Connor Jones and Paria Lopez. We are here with the Morning Buzz. Please pause this morning for announcements. Let's begin with the Pledge of Allegiance. Please stand, attention, salute, pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for the mission statement. The, the mission of Mary B. Austin is to engage all students through relevant individualized instruction that empowers students to take ownership of their learning and gain the skills necessary to think creatively, critically, and independently in a safe and encouraging learning environment. Now let's pause for a moment of silence. Thank you. You may be seated. Over the weekend, Laura and Kidd and Maya Turner celebrated their birthdays. Happy birthday. Today, Reagan, Hadley, and Carday Knight celebrate their birthdays. Happy birthday. This is what's baking in the bistro today. Turkey rolls, brown gravy, cream potatoes, sweet peas, fruit, and juice. Now let's go to Andrew, our meteorologist for the weather. Today will be partly cloudy with a high of 82 and a 20% chance of rain. Tonight will be clear for low of 56 and a 0% chance of rain. Tuesday will be sunny for a high of 85 and a 0% chance of rain. Back to you, Paul, Roy, and Connor. Thanks, Andrew. We have an announcement from Mason and uh, Josiah. Jo Josiah Courier about an opportunity to embrace the S from our Roots motto and serve our community. Let's go hear what they say, hear what they have to say. Hi, I'm Mesa. And I'm Josiah. We're here to tell you about the race that we're doing, Jet for Net. In July 2014, our beloved Aunt Beth was diagnosed with a rare form of cancer known as neuroendocrine cancer. Allie Wolf was a teenager who died from this type of cancer, and her family formed the Allie Wolf Foundation to support researchers working to find a cure. Research is progressing rapidly, but there's no cure yet. Each year in May, in Madison, Wisconsin, the Allie Wolf Foundation holds a race in Allie's memory to raise money for net research. We can't travel to Madison to run for this cause, but we can not have our own race here. Our goal is to raise $800, and maybe even more. 100% of the funds raised in our race will go towards research, and every penny counts. Please come run with us and give what you can at the race. Kids, consider giving one week's allowance, and adults, consider giving what you might spend on a cup of coffee for this important research. Where? Track at Lavretta Park, 200 Parkway Street West. When? Sunday, May 7th, 3 o'clock p.m. Distance, one mile. If you are interested in, in the race and want a flyer with more info, please tell your teacher and we'll get one to you. We don't have many copies left. Will you jet the net away with us? Back to you, Connor and Paul Roy. Great job, Josiah and Mason. Way to set up an opportunity for, for a lot of us to show our love and exercise together, too. Last week was Mrs. Fisher in Franklin Tennis. Franklin Tennis and Fisher class. We all love to learn that tape. Today we will share that video. Take a look. Welcome to this Hamilton Fisher class. We all love to learn that tape takes place here. What is your favorite part of being in Ms. Hamilton and Fisher's room? That we learn about new things that we never heard of, like global warming and the greenhouse effect. I enjoy doing math because sometimes we get to play math games. Yeah. And on Friday, everybody gets to bring their devices and play. I like um, um, helping the earth be a better place. And science we've been focused on how to um, um, keep the earth a better place, like recycling and not living. We've been learning equivalent fractions. 
months over the few months. Equivalent fractions? And tell me about that. I've never, I um, kind of got confused by equivalent fractions, but once we got deeper in equivalent fractions, I understood it more. Can you teach us? Um, equivalent fractions mean um, they're not the exact same, but they equal the same amount. So, say there's two six, what's equal to two six? Four twelfths, because if you um, double six, that equals twelve, and if you double two, that equals four. It's the same amount if you draw it out. In Ms. Fisher's and Hamilton's class, we are always using creative ways and like productive thinking and creativity. We've done, we turn a star into something, the star from the Sneetches, which is right behind me, and we've been doing, we've done, and earlier in the other years, we've done, like, turn a squiggle line into something. We love all the books that Miss Fisher and Miss Hamilton read. Can you give me an example? Like, James and the Giant Peach. We did a town about him and it's right there. We did um, stuff to, um, to describe James, the earth, earth queen, old green grasshopper, Aunt Sponge, Aunt Spiker, and the centipede. Today in Miss Fisher's and Miss Hamilton's class, we've been learning to not be ill about the Philippines. We love Miss Fisher and Miss Hamilton. That was great. Later this week, we will highlight Mrs. Grinowski's first grade. This is Teacher Appreciation Week. Today, you should give your teachers a homemade sweet note or card. Tomorrow, we will bring a flower to add to the vase in our teacher's room. The sidewalkathon was last week. We are proud to announce that MBA earned over $800 to donate in only three days. That's incredible. Way to go, Austin Innovators. You're generous and helpful. Now to recite the Roots motto, respect ourselves and others, own our learning, own our actions, treasure our talents, serve our community. These are Roots to Success. This has been the Morning Buzz. Have a marvelous Monday.